for the end zone. Touchdown! And the left jab. Takes the shot. Access 7 Sports. For all of your local sports, tune to Access 7. Well, for, for him, I think, uh, you know, I, I never ever had an injury like that. And, and so, but this is a serious injury when you, you know, even with today's medical stuff, that you're out at least six months probably. Um, so it's a serious injury. So I'm sure he's going to have a lot of tough moments and times. Uh, I think from what I understand, I talked to him on uh, last Thursday or fr Friday afternoon from Edmonton. Um, you know, different guys had called him once he got back with uh, to the players with the diagnosis. Probably the most encouraging call, from what I understand, came from Josh because Josh went through it last year, tore it in early September and came back there in first of April or about. So, you know, I think that that's an important thing. Somebody that's been through it, you know, knows what he's going to go through. So, from what I gather, that was an encouraging call, and I'm sure that it was, and I'm sure that there'll be, you know, half a dozen calls from now through till the middle of August, you know, dealing with it specifically from Jake because it's a way of getting a little bit of comfort of, you know, how long it's going to take. With the yeah, yeah, I was uh, I was texting with him and, and stuff over when when we found out kind of, and um, yeah, we kind of kind of talked about it. Obviously, I went through it last year and stuff, and um, he, he's pretty bummed out right now, and, yeah. and, and it sucks for him, so it's it was more just kind of seeing what, what he was like and stuff and, and how he reacted and, and we kind of just talked about um, what he's what he's going to be doing here over the next little while and stuff so yeah no well I think for, you know I don't I think that's to really tell but I think from the doctors saying like uh, so I mean I, I expect that you know right around training camp he's going to be given based on again the only thing I can know and I was following it last year because we were going to play is Mahuris so I think you know I think around the six month thing, he'll be given, you know, I'm just guessing, but uh, cause you don't know, but there's probably a green light in there. And then, but I do think that, you know, you hear through the grapevine of whenever somebody has a serious knee injury, like it's not, it's six months and you're fully healed and you're strong and you can play and stuff, but just to get timing back and comfort back and get probably worry out of your mind, it's another three months. Mm -hmm. So the Jake decision that was playing a couple of weeks ago, uh, He's going to be a better player because he's older and he's going to be stronger in the next year. But it's a six months and you're able to play and stuff like that. But probably it's another three months just to your like full bore. And, and I I really can't answer that. You can probably ask Josh. That. What, I'm sure Josh felt a lot better at training camp than he did last year in the playoffs. Right. I'm just guessing. Right. That, like I told him, it seems like the end of the world right now, and and it, and it sucks. But um, but you get by it and and you get through it and. Um, going through it, it, it was tough at the time, and um, it, it's a lot of hard work. But um, you come back and, and you start playing hockey again, and, and it seems like it never really happened. 